Hello. Good day. And in this uh, class, we are going to resolve some problems involving simultaneous uh, equations. You know, in our previous class, uh, I've been able to establish the the methods, or uh, elimination methods, and uh, as well as the substitution method. So in this class, uh, essentially, we're going to look look at some questions. Before us on the board, we have a, a ex plus dy equals a minus b equation one, and uh, in equation two, we have bx minus ay is equal to a plus b. Here, we are going to resolve this question. On this side, we also have uh, another equation, ps plus qy is equal to five, then qx plus py is equal to minus 10. So we're going to look at some questions. Uh, this question before us, first of all, we use uh, the elimination method. We use elimination method. And here, we try and uh, eliminate uh, uh, y. Okay, here, first and foremost, uh, this is x. So what we are looking for, what we are solving for is x and y. Those are the two unknowns in the equation okay now if we are eliminating y like i said what we need to do we look at the coefficient of y in equation one as well as uh equation two so the coefficient of y in equation one is b and that of y in equation two is uh a so what we do we interchange we multiply uh we look at the coefficient of y here which is a we use it to multiply the whole of equation one and we look at the coefficient of y in equation one and we use it to multiply equation two so that will give us equation three and four respectively so let's do that we say equation one so equation one times a and equation two times uh, b okay that is just the application equation one times a so a times a here will give us a square x then a times b y will give us plus a b y and here we see a times a minus b is going to give us a square minus a b a times a is a square then the a will also multiply our uh, minus b will give us minus b a minus a b so this will give us equation three okay now we set equation two times b we multiply equation two uh by b so here uh b times bx that will give us b square x uh b times a y will give us minus a b y and uh, here b times a uh, will be equal to that is on the right hand side will be a b plus b squared this become equation four now we have been able to make the coefficient of a of y both in equation three and four to be the same the coefficient is a b a, B, A. And like I said, having done that, we look at the coefficient of sign here. This is plus and this is minus. Uh, anytime that the, the signs are different, what usually do you add? If the signs are different, we do what we add. So here we get to add and see. So this will be A square X plus B square S. This will automatically give us uh, A square X plus B square x so a b y plus minus a b y and that is off completely off here we add this and this together uh if we add this a b plus a minus a b plus a b and uh, this will be off so we'll be left with a square plus uh b square 
okay and if you look at the 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 left hand side you see that uh, x is here and x is here that means s is a common factor so we uh we we'll factor it out so we see x is it open bracket mm -hmm. then we have a a square plus uh, b square we we'll close the bracket is equal to a square plus uh, b squares okay now we we'll look at the coefficient of x here is a square plus b square so we divide both sides we divide both sides uh, by a square plus b square so divide both both sides by a square b square so if we do that we have a s open bracket a square plus b square we we'll close bracket divide a square plus b square then on the right hand side we have a a square b square plus b square all over a square plus uh, b square so here go off this will go off and uh, a square plus b square divide a square plus b square that will give us uh, one so we see that the value of x the value of x s is equal to one okay we have obtained that s is equal to one once we we'll be able to obtain that s is equal to one we should be able to you know find the value of y putting the value of s in either equation one or two okay now let's use equation one okay our equation one is a x minus okay plus b y is equal to a minus b so we know that x is one so one times a is a this become a plus b y is equal to a minus uh, b okay now we're looking for y so what we need to do we collect like terms or we can simply do that by saying adding the additive inverse of a so the additive inverse of a is uh minus a to both sides so here we come a minus a plus b y is equal to a minus a minus b so here a and a is off we are left with b y is equal to a minus a uh, they are off there so we are left with what minus b okay the next thing for us to do is to see divide both sides by the coefficient of y and the coefficient of y here is uh b so we divide both sides by what b divide divide both sides by the coefficient of y which is b by b so here we become b y divide by b is equal to minus b divide by b so that our y become uh, negative one so you see that uh, we can say that therefore s is equal to one and uh, y is equal to minus uh, one that's the solution to this if we want to uh to check we can as well do that uh x is one we we'll put one here it will give us a and here is um uh, b, uh y is minus one if we put minus one here we've got a minus b we see that both sides they are the same and that is one way we can uh, uh, resolve this uh, equation we saw that the value of s is one and that of y is minus uh, one okay that is the approach to this uh, question now let's look at uh, another question that we have on the board here we have um, on the board here we have uh, another question uh, p x plus q y is equal to 5 as our equation 1 and we have here q x uh, plus um, b y is equal to minus 10 as equation 2 okay here yeah. uh, will we try and use a um, um, substitution method here to see how we can uh, resolve this like I said in the substitution method what you usually do is that you try and make uh, one of the unknown uh, from 
one equation the subject of the relation okay so here we will try and make um, y the subject of the relation from equation one it's okay the from equation one from equation make y a subject of the formula mm -hmm. for short formula okay so if i'm going to do that our equation one is this so we have a we we move this uh px to this side and what we need to do this is plus uh, because it's going to cross this inequality sign it will change to minus so we have here q y is equals to 5 minus px now we know we are only making y subject of the relation so y will be on its own side will be on the left hand side and uh, that is to say we are dividing both sides by q by q both sides by what q so our y becomes 5 minus p x all over q and like i told you once we are done with this uh this one here this y is equal to 5 minus p x over q uh, becomes uh, our new equation which is now equation 3 this, this becomes equation 3 okay and once we obtain equation 3 what do we need to do we will fix it back into equation 2 not the equation you used to you know initially you know to make uh, this one subject of the relations so don't uh, make that mistake so what would you do here now when i say put equation 3 into equation 2 okay equation 3 into equation uh, 2 so whenever we see y in equation 2 we put 5 minus px all over q that is the implication there okay so here our equation equation 3 is this and equation 2 is this so our equation 2 is q x q x plus p our y is the whole of this so uh, a very open bracket of uh, 5 minus p x so what we have just done is that in place of y we no longer put y but we put a uh, 5 minus p s all over q uh, is equal to minus 10 okay now here we multiply through uh, by the LOCM here so this is a fraction already so we're going to multiply through by q multiply through by q that's what we see multiply multiply uh, through by what q so q times qx give us qs square uh, q times this it become p open bracket 5 minus px and uh, on the right hand side q times minus 10 will give us a uh, minus 10 q okay minus 10 q so here we open this bracket here this p will be distributed you know you know within this bracket it will multiply 5 and uh, minus p x and if we do that this will become q x uh, q square x plus 5 p 5 p times 5 is 5 p minus p times p x is p square x is equal to minus uh, 10 q okay we see that those ones that contain x you know we collect them and this constants we go to the other side here we have um, a this become q square x plus 5 q square s minus p square x is equal to this is plus 5 as it crosses this inequality signs plus we change to minus so this was be minus 10 q minus 5 p okay now here we can see that we can see that x is 
common it's a common factor there so we factor at x this become x open bracket we have a q square minus p square close bracket here we have a um, minus 10 q minus 5 uh, p so in order to obtain uh, the value of x we quickly divide both sides by q square minus p square uh, q square minus p square so that our x here though this is off already our x here becomes um, minus uh, 10 q minus 5 p all over q square minus uh, p square this is the value of uh, the value of x so this is the value of what x this is the value of x okay now if we want to find the value of y it becomes very easy so wherever we see x in equation 3 we put the whole of this okay that will become our next uh, question now is for us to find the value of y okay so here y is equal to 5 okay is the same thing as 5 over q minus p over 5 times x and the whole of s is this so let me quickly adjust my space here so here y is equal to 5 minus p yeah open bracket the value of x is minus 10 q minus 5 p uh, all over q square minus p square here all over everything over what over q okay it is not left for us to simplify this and if we tend to simplify this this is a fraction already it's a fraction already so how do we do this is to multiply through is to multiply through by q square minus p square and if we do that y becomes 5 times q square 5 q square minus 5 p square minus here we have a p already this will become uh, plus 10 pq here become plus 5 p square all over q all over q open bracket q square minus uh, p square okay okay so if we simplify further we have a 5 q square plus 5 p square here we have a okay 5 p square minus 5 p square that will be off and we will be left here with that y is equal to 5 q square plus 10 p q all over q open bracket q square minus uh, p square so this is the value of y the value of y is 5 q square plus 10 p q all over the division line then q open bracket q square minus p square okay using the elimination method so here we see that the value of y the value of y now is 5 u square plus 10 pq all over q here we have a q square minus p square so this is the value of x and the value of a y respectively okay uh, in our next basha class 
uh, we're going to look at some further questions on the simultaneous equations and particularly on word problems have a nice time please when this video come across your way please all you help me to do is to subscribe and also uh, share uh, to other platforms thanks